Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. I know, it's been a while since we've played this game. Huh, interesting day today. We've done two games that we haven't played in a while. But I wanted to bring back the Binding of Isaac because, well, one, I do enjoy it. And two, you have all been asking for it. But I wanted to figure out what is the best way to bring back a game that I want to play in a way that, well, it's... Not necessarily different, but, you know, it's something, it's something interesting. So what I've kind of devised here is I'm going to be doing a streak. Now that we've hit 1,001%, I'm going to do a streak, which means that a streak, well, if you're not already aware, a streak is when you basically, you know, try and beat the game consistently every single time. And we're going to be playing as Eden for all of these runs. Now, what is, why, why are we going to be playing as Eden? Because Eden is the random character, okay? Every single run is going to be completely different because Eden starts with completely randomized stats, randomized gear. It starts with two random items, and I like random. And I figured, what's the better way to, you know, to get this all done than to just let RNG decide whether or not we actually do get to continue? So that's, that's sort of my plan here. That's what I'm going to be doing. And I hope you all enjoy it. You know, how long is this series going to go on for? I, I don't know. It could end, it could end, you know, the next episode, or it could go on until Afterbirth Plus. I will be doing Afterbirth Plus, by the way. I want to do that game, or that DLC. It looks interesting, and it's going to be changing up the game, hopefully in a good way here and we've got a wheel of fortune i don't know what to do with that wheel of fortune but we looks like we do have a lot of money here so we're gonna go ahead come in here we're gonna buy a bomb put down our wheel of fortune and place a bomb here so that way we can blow up the wheel of fortune we can get a little bit of extra money here i'm gonna go ahead and grab a key for the next floor as well as buying a soul heart and that should be good. I kind of want to go see what's that other room that we did not get over there. And I guess, you know what? I'll also put in the seeds for those who want to play this, you know, these runs along with me. Because if you've 1,001% the game, we will have the exact same run. So, hey, maybe you could see if you can keep up with all of my runs. Even if you can't keep the streak going yourself, maybe you want to, you know, join in. So, we've got... WSDXSX9Q. And hey, I'll actually read them correctly this time. Who knows? But I kind of like our start here. We've got really good tier rate. We've got decent damage. Uh, we've got how to jump, which is pretty awesome, I gotta say. Uh, it's a very good item. And we also have uh, Leo. That was our first floor item. And I really like Leo because of the, the ability to, you know, destroy any tinted rocks, destroy anything like that. Um, is honestly really nice. It's a very valuable thing there. We're pretty much going to be able to get all of our tinted rocks, assuming it's within walking distance and all that good stuff. And we're fighting hot for our first boss. The only downside I don't like right now is our health situation isn't doing, honestly, all that well. The health downhill was not the greatest. So we're going to have to find a little bit more health here. Our movement speed is honestly really good. We have a very solid start. We also started with meat, so we had an extra health. Uh, we had a little bit of a one-up health from that. And we also had uh, a little bit of extra damage from that. And a dime. I don't think there's anything else that I want on this floor. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, I'm not entirely sure how far we're going to end up making it on these runs here. We're going to see. Oh, okay. So, it looks like the uh, pageant boy kind of overrides the Leo here. And we've got the small rock. A little bit of extra damage here. I do want to go into that cursed room, but not right away because I, I don't want to, you know, waste that health once I know it's actually there. I apologize in advance. I could have sworn I closed these things before I actually record. Oh, well. How many people checked their Skype? Just curious. How many people checked it? Hmm? All right. Um, right. We've got a blood bank machine. We're going to go ahead and hit that one time there. Get a little bit of 
get a little bit of money we can get rid of that red heart um i'm not entirely sure if i want to hit red chests just yet or red chests golden chests uh, i do only have two keys i want to save one for my shop one for my item room okay now we can as long as we have three keys here wow okay that one <laughs> that one had some money in it that was nice all right well we're definitely gonna be going to our item room and our item shop uh we should be able to pretty much buy anything we need so if there's any soul hearts in there we'll definitely be grabbing all of them so let's see what we got here uh blue candle blue candle is very strong so i think we're gonna go ahead and take that we're gonna buy the key and i'm gonna see what the pill does because you know i want to I want to see all the all the all the things here um could potentially be our secret room nope so it doesn't look like we'll be getting our cursed room here unless we want to take a heart of damage which i don't really i don't really feel like doing here but yeah the blue candles have very strong items so we're definitely going to be taking that with us blue and red candle i don't want to say they're automatic wins but they definitely do help you and they can actually save a really bad run so that much is really nice and we're getting a lot of keys that i think we started with above average luck as well i'm kind of tempted to bring back missing hud but i'm not entirely sure maybe i should i might put out a poll on twitter to see like if people really like having missing hud or things like that for runs like these because i am kind of curious on the hidden stats like my luck stat and things like that all right, so let's see what we get for our first devil deal. We've got breakfast, so we're gonna go ahead and take that. All right. I do wanna go ahead and take one of these items to lock in my devil deal. I don't wanna go on angel rooms, but there's no reason to take the... It's a little bit of a toss up here. The nail will provide me a lot of health, but I will be giving up a lot of damage if I give up the blue candle. So it's really interesting on what exactly I want to go here. I do have the dimensional baby, so I can actually provide myself a lot of damage here. I think we're going to go for the extra health and go for the nail strats. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and go full nail strats here. Because that's going to give us a lot of health. And if, was there a battery in here? There was a battery in here, so I can uh, do that. So that... That's going to be our kind of build here. We're going to get a lot of health from the nail here. And we're going to go ahead and check out our curse room. I'm curious what's inside of it. We do have quite a bit of expendable health here. And a dead cat. All right. So we've got our health. We've already got our health back. And I would say that was definitely worth it. That was a very good pool of, uh, of items there. I'm almost tempted to to jump on that sack pit but i kind of don't want to you know waste health for no reason at all if mega satan happens i'll try it but i'm not gonna you know just throw health on there and hope to god i make it i'm not trying to make mega satan happen every single time now and i would love to just jump on these shrooms to try and get that mega or that uh that mighty mush mega mush magic magic mush that's the name of it i definitely do want to get that but Come on, little skull. There we go. But I don't want to take the potential damage there. And we are definitely going to be jumping into all of these. Uh... We're going to jump in all, in all of these cursed challenge rooms and stuff like that. Just got to make sure I hit my nail before... Uh... While I'm fighting enemies. Because nail does give you a little bit of damage. But it does slow you down as well. I've noticed our speed kind of took a little bit of a hit there uh, when we took the small rock. We actually we actually procked our our speed our uh, speed down from that. So our sp speed isn't doing as hot as I would like, but overall I think it's doing pretty good. I think this is a very solid solid run here. But then again, you gotta always remember this is Isaac. It could say, "I ah, you doing well?" All right. Beat the game with just that. I'm not giving you anything else. We're not gonna give you anything else. Um, don't. Yeah, don't want to tank damage here. I know we do have the the swallowed penny, and that will help us get some some cash if we need it. If we do need it here. All right, so let's see what we have in here. Wooden nickel. 
it's not really necessary. I will go ahead and buy the soul heart, use a nail, buy a battery, and buy a key. And I'll call it there. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and call that there. X-ray specs. Tech X? Well then, I'd say this is a very solid run. I'm kind of enjoying this. I still have my temperance machine, which I don't think I'm going to be using all that much. We're definitely just going to go ahead and go straight into that curse room. Because I feel it's, it's going to be just fine here. Oh, yeah. I like, I like this build. This is nice. This is definitely enjoyable. Uh, I, I could have, I, I lost a penny. I could have gotten that penny. I gotta remember not to do a full charge here. Ooh, infinite bombs. Well, I mean, might as well, right? Might as well, right? Trying to get those secret rooms since we do have the infinite bombs. No reason not to. Ooh, and a golden heart. If we end up breaking that heart, we're gonna get a lot of money out of that. It's actually not that bad. All right, I'll, t I'll take it. Uh, the devil card, that'll increase our damage for the boss. Not that we're gonna necessarily need it, but it'll be nice. Uh, we've got infinite bombs here, so we can actually get both of these. It'll take a second to get, but honestly, it's worth it if I'm, if I have time here. Just need to line it up. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. A little bit more. Perfect. I wanted to make sure we got that. Oh, troll bomb. Nice. <sighs> it spawned on the other side of me. Nothing I could have really done there, but... Oh, well. Um... Yeah, sure, we'll go ahead and top that. Lose a little heart there. And let's go ahead and pop our devil. Let's go ahead and pop our nail. And we should have massive amounts of damage. Yep. Whore of Babylon. All right, then. If we can keep our whore active, if we can get rid of this red heart here, we are going to regain all of our speed here and most of our damage. So I definitely do like that. All right. Well, that's that floor. I could search around for my super secret room, but I'm a little lazy, so I'm not going to. Yeah, let's just go ahead and move on to the next floor here. Let's just move on to the next floor. So we're going to be on the lookout for a temperance machine of some kind Ooh, and uh, head of the keeper. Uh, I don't know if that actually works with tech eggs. I don't think it actually works with Tech X here, but I could be wrong. It doesn't look like it does, because it definitely should have procced by now, if it did. Oh, and I thought I was close enough away. Oh, well. But yeah, we're going to be looking out for a uh, Temperance Machine or potentially that, that uh, Devil Deal. But we're bound to get Krampus at this point. I just want to get that speed back up once I can start moving through these floors. I feel like Isaac is just, like, messing with me at this point. It's like, hey, welcome back, man. It's, I missed you. Here's a good run. Here. Tell all your subscribers that you're going to do an RNG-based playthrough. And I'll give you a good run. And then after that, nothing. All right. Well, let's go ahead and play you out. What a horrible night to have a curse. Do have a lot of health here, so. Well, let's go ahead and play you out. We definitely can play you. Give me. I don't even know what I want from you. Just re, most of your drops are going to be health ups. I guess I could take that half a heart and just kind of play him out. Ooh! Restock! Okay. I didn't know you had that! I really want to see what you have here. I really want to see what you got here. Perthrow? Ooh, that could be sexy. Come on. 
play out already. Well, I don't want to waste any more health here. Thanks for the money, though. I appreciate that. But yeah, I don't want to waste any more of that. Uh, we could just use our Hermit card, or I could just walk into it there. All right. So we've got a bunch of... We've got a lot of money here. Like, a ridiculous amount. No space bar items, unfortunately. But we do have Charge Baby. We do have Spider Mod, which I am a fan of. We've got Blue Map. Uh, and I think that's all I want to take there. I was hoping for a few more space bar items, but I guess that'll kind of work. Um, yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and open up these uh, secret rooms and see what they potentially have in here. Go ahead and grab you for the potential money there. We are going to want a lot of cash for the next few floors. I could, you know, there is a space bar item. I, I could, I could be a little greedy here. You know what? I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to be just a touch greedy. And it looks like our greed is going to end up paying out here. It definitely does look like the greed is going to pay out. So, stars card. We don't really need that. What a horrible night. What a horrible night to have. Occur. So, we're actually going to tank a little bit of damage here. Because we do need more money. We do need more of that cash. And we're going to go ahead and pick up the blood bag. So that way I can tank more damage and get just a little bit more cash here. Okay. And another blood bag. I'm not entirely sure if I want that just yet. We'll see. All right. So let's take this Perthro rune. Let's go ahead and take that. Let's grab this item. Let's double everything in the room. Oh, I should have dropped my purse row first. Ah, oh, that was a misplay there. Uh, this should be charged up. And we should be able... Um, let's go ahead and touch this. You know, let's touch these deck of cards. Let's see what they uh, potentially might give me. Sun card. and get a little bit of health out of that. And high priestess. So we can get a little bit of money here. Hmm. Did not want to pick that up with that. So let's take this real quick. Let's pick up our free battery. Let's get our sun card here. Oh, no, wait. We uh, we broke both of those, so we can't actually do anything with that just yet. Power pill. Nice. All right. So Perthro here. Very nice. So we're going to pick up PhD, the Broken Watch, Hive Mind, Best Friends Forever, the, F the Nightlight, and a Wooden Nickel. All right. A little bit of greed seemed to have paid out very well there. Very, very well on the greed payout there. We ended up losing our Horror of Babylon, but the amount of things that we ended up pulling out of that out of that room there, I'd say that was worth the greed. Personally, I would definitely say that is worth the amount of greedy plays there. Because I'm pretty sure that... Oh, no, it doesn't actually affect these tiers. I was going to say, it might affect these tiers, uh, but it unfortunately does not. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how that actually ended up playing out there. We're going to have plenty of health now. Uh, because if we ever need any kind of health, we can just, you know, use the charge baby. I don't think best friends forever affects the charge baby at all. Uh, we've already found our shop. We've already found our item room. So we can honestly just head on out of here yeah we don't we don't really have anything else to do here so let's just go ahead and head on out i do want to get rid of these last few hearts i i had to pick up some red health there to you know play it out but nah it's fine all right let's see what our boss is carrying queen and she's slow sucks to be her and we're gonna have this tech eggs just absolutely demolish her Goodbye. We should get a devil deal here. Uh, we did not, but we did get the cat of nine. So that'll increase our damage. Let's see what's in our super secret real quick. Since we do have that unlocked. And it looks like we found some keys, a pill, range up. Not necessarily the greatest, but hey, I'll take it. Uh, and that should be about everything. All right, let's grab that penny there. 
and we'll use the sun card on the next floor just to get just just to give us the full mapping just to kind of see what exactly we're walking into here the sun. right so we've got a very interesting map layout here <laughs> but hopefully we won't be taking any dead ends now so let's see what's inside our secret room I did not you know what actually we'll we'll go ahead and pay play you out a little bit here come on play out for me I'm looking for some more I'm looking for some uh you know what no we should let's get out of there or let's just get out let's just get out of that that's just, he's just gonna keep eating them man I don't know what the hell the announcer was just saying there but whatever also holy hell Jesus, dude. So much health there. I should have saved. Ah, I should have saved. Ah, whatever. You know what? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take it. So we got here 48 hour energy. So that's going to be more health. So we can actually tank damage now uh, with our. Yeah, we could actually tank damage with our, our soul hearts now and actually get a little bit of money. So if there's anything in our shop that I may potentially want here. Uh, we could actually grab that and I ended up getting hit by mom's hand which I'm not exactly mad about because yeah I, I didn't want to I didn't want to deal with that and it looks like we can proc our horror Babylon so we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick here you go buddy two more don't you dare play out there you go and we'll see what exactly you have here since I've got so much health now we're gonna get that item. Come here, boy. Ooh, growth hormones. A little bit of speed, a little bit of damage. Not that bad at all. Let's see, what was this other card here? The world, we'll hold on to that, definitely. Uh, actually, two star 48 hour. There we go. Now let's hold on to the world card. I'd rather have the world card uh, than anything else here. And now we've got our Horror of Babylon. So that's really nice. And the room is at times two speed. It's a downside with the broken watch there. It can sometimes spawn it at times two speed. I could pick up chaos. It's not worth it. It's it's not worth it. It's never worth it. Chaos is not a good item. We're not going to take it. Okay? We're not going to take it. Let's head on over uh, to our curse room. Let's head on over to our item room. Let's see what's going on over there. But we are not taking. I'm sorry, we're not. We're not taking the, the chaos. Ooh, straight to our double deal. Uh, Blyle. I don't really want it, but it will at the very least uh, get rid of a couple of red heart containers. So I'll definitely take that. I want to get off my red heart containers, like permanently. After that, I don't want to pick up any. And D12 is literally useless. <sighs> the worst of the dice items, the D12. All it does is reroll rocks into like different rocks. I don't even think it can spawn tinted rocks. It just churned rocks into more rocks. You know, I'm really starting to like you there, Buzz Buddy. I'm really starting to like you. All right, so we're guaranteed a devil deal, unfortunately. Which sucks because we already have seen what's in there. There's not going to be anything for us. It's just going to be the Book of Belial. Thankfully, we didn't get Krampus. And I'm not going to pick up the less than three because I don't want to heal right now. I want to keep ourselves on that half a heart so we can keep our Horror Babylon going. And we're going to go ahead and hit the World card here. And it looks like our shop and item room are down, downstairs. It's not really downstairs, but it's down. So we're going to go grab those. Why is everything frozen? That was weird. And we've got our super secret, or, or rather, our regular secret room over here. So we'll definitely check that out, see what's going on in there. So we got another key beggar. I'm not gonna, I'm not playing you out this time. You stole all my keys, I've learned. And for our last shop, we're gonna get greed. 50% off. Yay! Boy, how nice. Isn't that just wonderful? I got 50% off. Woo! 
Uh, Chemical Splash, unfortunately, does not actually work with Tech X, so we're not going to be able to do anything with that. You know, I've got an idea here. Call me crazy, but I do have a pretty... I do have a pretty sketchy idea of a potential game break. All right, and you're going to have to, like... You're going to have to just listen to me here. You're going to have to just let this kind of play out. But in order to do that, one, we're going to need a lot of money, which we're going to get. We're going to get a lot of money. And we need to make it to Hush. All right. So let's go to Hush. I know. We're, go we're actually going to go to Hush for the potential of a game break here. Because I have Steam Sale. I have a lot of money. And, ooh, Midas Touch. Definitely want that. Uh, Judgy. Justice. Well, we got rid of our Horror Babylon. I didn't mean to do that. But, that's fine. Because now we can make even more money. Which I'm okay with. Alright, we lost a little bit of health there, but that's fine. This is all now going towards the break. I want to be able to break up my game a little bit here. Is there anything that I miss that I want? Just a challenge room, which I honestly don't need. All right. Soul heart from a fire. I'll take it. And we got Guppy's head, so that's two pieces of the Gup now. So that's really nice. Okay, is there anything else? I don't think there is. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that I want here. Thankfully, that growth hormone is going to give us that, that speed that we ended up losing here. And that buzz, buddy, it's just... It's so good. We're definitely going up because more items. I, I like having extra items here. So we're gonna want to try and make our make it our, make our way to our boss as quickly as possible here. I've got five minutes to do two floors, so we're gonna need to go as fast as we can here. And I'll kind of explain this break if we can if we can actually make it. And when I say a break, I pretty much mean like a run that's incredibly ridiculously overpowered. That's usually what is referred to as a breaking run. Okay, definitely don't want to do the challenge room right now. And this is going to be nothing but a giant dead end, which I'm not a fan of. And I just realized we do have hive minds. So if we actually end up making guppy, uh, that's going to be very, very powerful for us. So it looks like it's going to go to the left here based on the secret rooms that I can see here. I like those, like those things right there. They actually have a health bar, but you know, they don't same time all right kill loki number one kill loki number two there we go just give him a little tap here i could check out my secret room but honestly i don't want to waste the time to do so right now i need to make sure i can clear these floors Ooh, and I could, you know, I do want to, I do want to make sure I'm staying at least full, uh, fully healed here. So we'll take a second to go back, grab that battery there, and use that damage on the next boss here. Who are we going to have? Loki. Well, I kind of just killed you, but now I get to do it again. So, hey, I'll take it. All right. Uh, Pacifier is going to give me a little bit of tier rate as well as giving me a soul heart. So I'll definitely take that and allow me to spam my tears just a little bit faster. Okay. Um, looks like top right is going to be the way to go here this time. Times two speed again. If you ever hear the music change pitch, but you don't see them slow, that means that the enemies are at times two speed and that's just that's just not good man usually your boss is going to be near your super secret it wasn't this time but that's just kind of the general rule of thumb all right so it looks like it's going to keep going up i would wager it's 
what I'll, it's, it's really all I can assume here. Mm, based on this, I think it's, we're going to be going to the left. The, the map layout and trying to read, you know, where exactly to go is kind of changed from, you know, after they added in these L shaped rooms. We did not get what I wanted in here. A little bit of extra money. I'll definitely take that. Okay. So we're actually going to want to pick up that chaos, by the way. Remember where I said we didn't want chaos? Well, now we do. Okay. So we actually need to take a left at the secret room. Okay, then. And we shall head over there. We've got two minutes to kill our boss. I don't think we'll have any issues with that, considering we are right here at it. And we'll use a nail. Oh, come on, Mom. All right. Well, not a fan of you dealing that much damage to me. Probably going to get Krampus. Didn't. Uh, not going to take the, the demon baby. It's fine. We don't need him. So we're actually going to go to Hush. I know. Crazy. Crazy plan here. But we are going to go to Hush. Wow. Okay, then. Uh, we want the Mask of Infamy. And the other item room. We don't want either of those. Those are both garbage. I'll go ahead and take all three of these items. Doesn't hurt anybody. All right. So now, now that everything's on sale, we're going to take the tear generator. We're going to take the bottle of pills. We're going to take the sharp plug. We're going to take the hourglass. We're going to take the soul thing. We're going to take this. So we're just going to start buying everything, basically, is the general idea here. And we're waiting to get that blank. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any extra batteries right now. Now, if I had item martyr, then I would have been able to break the game up just a little bit harder. But unfortunately, I don't actually have that. So there's that. So we're going to get up to... I guess that's as much money as we're going to get here. Uh, let's use our two of diamonds. Let's buy this. That'll give us a recharge. We can pick that up again. Those are going to be pills. I can see forever. Um, Mom's key we're definitely going to want. Mom's purse. There's the item martyr. Or the, yeah, the item martyr that we wanted. And I actually don't have my two of diamonds anymore because I actually picked up the pill baggie. I kind of forgot that it's going to do that. So in order to break any further, I am going to need... I am going to need the thing. Well, I tried to go on a break here, but it doesn't look like it's going to go on that break that I wanted. And just as I run out of items... Just as I run out of items there, it ends up doing that. All right, question. Yeah, okay. Kind of what I figured. Didn't think it was going to do anything, but had to at least test it out. Okay, well, I apologize. I went for the break, but it did not want to end up breaking. So now we got to deal with Hush, which honestly, I don't think is going to be that big a deal. I mean, we do have a lot of damage, and we do have a stun as well, so... So let's do it. Oh yeah, this'll we'll be able to melt right through him here. And infamy will uh end up rocking for us there. And charge buddy's gonna make sure that we stay nice and healthy here. I'm trying to get a stun on the boss here with our other items, but it looks like he's not gonna he's not gonna take the bait here. So I'm gonna need to walk into him the moment I get you know, the moment I can here. Okay, so he's just not gonna take the stun. 
which is a little unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that he would. Yeah, I was hoping he was going to take the stun there, but no such luck. Speaking of luck, that, those luck ups are definitely helping us. Infamy is just blocking all the damage right now. Here, we'll take Lemon Party. Uh, sit in the very back. It's going to go the same direction twice, which is just going to let us kind of hit that. And we are still safe. Oh, not this. Not this attack. Not this attack, Hush. Come on. You're filling the screen with shit, and I don't like it. Just die already. It seems some items, like Tank X, actually does sort of, like, break this boss, and he just kind of takes damage normally. Just look at all those numbers. Just look at all those numbers there. All right. Well, there's Hush dead. Let's make sure we go up. That's the direction we want to go. Uh, I do. Hold up. I can't actually buy the deck of cards real quick. We might as well do that. There we go. Let's buy the deck of cards. World card and world card. Oh, well. Let's buy the soul heart. And let's move on up. Didn't take on Mega Satan, even though we probably could, but I did, uh, did end up adding in a hush kill. So honestly, I'll take it. And since we have two world cards, might as well, um, you know, just go for it. And look at all of Sackhead, I love you. Well, we lost all of our health, but don't worry. I'll just go ahead and get it all back again. Hierophant. Strength card. Might as well hold on to a strength card. Why not? We'll use that on Isaac. All right. Well, for the first run coming back to the Binding of Isaac, I would definitely say that uh, we are we are doing surprisingly well. Didn't get as overpowered as I had wanted, but I definitely do enjoy the run nonetheless. And I'm curious on your your thoughts on the whole RNG based run. We'll go ahead and use the strength card. Give us a little bit of extra damage. We'll use that. So much damage. Don't care if I take damage. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on the whole RNG based run. If you weren't here for the beginning, even though I don't know how, um, I just addressed you as if I was doing a live stream. That just happened. But anyway, I'm doing runs that are going to be based on, you know, the RNG of things. I'm going to let the game decide when this run is going to be over, when this series decides to die. I could use the D20. Oh, good. We got Bizzle, Bizzub. Nice. Um, yeah, we'll just use the Book of Shadows. We'll just use the Book of Shadows here. And we'll get even more money. Uh, Joker card. Ooh, we could get some extra damage. Let's see what we got in here. Joker. I think that does get rid of all of our hearts. I think that puts us on horror. It does. Okay, good. The world. Yeah, that puts us on a horror Babylon. Nice. Alright, not bad. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I, I gotta go for the break, man. I, I have to. There's just so much potential here. There's just so much potential. Give me that rotten baby. Give it to me. Give it to me. We'll <laughs> reroll it again. Give me some more items. Give me a little brim. Give me super meat fan. Give me Ouija board. <laughs> there we go. Had to deal a little bit of damage there to myself, but it's fine. 
It ended up paying out pretty well, I would say. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and break the game even further. We are gonna continue to break. Reroll everything. Um, two of spades, sure, why not? We'll take more keys. I could always use more keys. Per throw? Well, we'll definitely hold on to a per throw here. Sticky shot, sure, why not? All right, two of hearts, don't really need that. We'll get the soul heart from that real quick. Uh, let's grab a battery, there we go. Boom, the mine, don't need that, we'll reroll it instead. Transcendence, sure, we'll pick that up. Why not? We don't need any of those items, so we're not going to pick those up. We're still just going to keep rolling and rolling and rolling. Pick up all the soul hearts, because I don't know how much health I have. And I don't want to risk a, a death here. Monstro's Lung does not synergize, so we will not be using that. And we'll just keep Isaac's Tears, Lazarus Rags. No thank you, no thank you. Uh, don't want Holy Shot, does not synergize. Quad shot does though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, we roll. I really want Guppy. I really want to see the little the little kitty cat meow. I really want to see the little kitty cat meow. Um. Let's see. That's a little bit of a damage up. Sure. Why not? We'll take that. Reroll everything again. Where's our last kitty cat piece? The guys? No, we don't need that. We don't need the guys. That's not gonna do anything for us. But Bobby, we don't need that. Spoonbender, sure, why not? We'll take that. Turds, I gotta take butt bombs. I want a butt. I want a butt bomb. All right, let's just keep rerolling. We're just gonna keep going. Uh, intensity, no, that doesn't work. It's not synergized, unfortunately. D100. Went the wrong way. Neato. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's keep ro keep rolling here. I need to find another Perth row rune. Uh, Sagittarius. Don't need that. Rune bag, no, no, no. Oh, I don't have the thing anymore. Dang it! I just realized I don't have the the thing that I that I want anymore. Oh well. I don't even know what my build is anymore at this point, to be honest. I'm really not even quite sure what my build is or how much health I have. <laughs> this is interesting. This is definitely interesting. Not as strong a build, but it's kind of cool. It's it's kind of cool. I need a Perthro rune. Like, that's seriously what I need now. I should have dropped my Perthro. Like, that was a fatal error on my part. I did not drop the Perthro uh, before I did that thing. Had I done that, we would have been fine. Um... All right, re-roll, hoping for a Perthro of some kind. Uh, no Perthro. I don't think Chocolate Milk does anything. I could D4. I could D4 and just say, fuck it. I don't think that's a smart decision there. I think we should clear out the rest of our rooms and hope for a... Uh... Yeah, I think we should clear out the rest of our rooms here and kind of just hope for a, a, a Perthro drop from our rune bag. It could happen. That is not a fur throw. Okay, let's see what we have there. 
holy water. We don't need that. What is this, though? Echoaz? No. We don't need Echoaz. I don't know how much health I have, so I'm going to go ahead and yum heart a little bit of health here. Uh, looks like we have a lot of health. Oh, no. We're fine. Okay. Um, Reroll the few remaining items in this room. Epic Fetus. Ugh. Epic Fetus is so boring. It's so incredibly boring. I don't think these synergize, but I'm going to try it in it anyway. Nah, it doesn't look like that did anything. I could re-roll that room real quick. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's re-roll our hearts. And it didn't turn into anything. Hmm. Bumbo, you're cramping my style here. Bumbo, you are seriously cramping my style. Well, we got spun. I guess that's kind of cool. Still going to kind of hope here for the... Uh, still kind of hoping for that one rune, man. We really need a per throw. Or it's just not going to work out. TNT? Is that a per throw? Hey, it's a per throw. Nice. Okay. So let's come over here. Let's reroll all of these items. Loki's horns, sure. Dunn's cap, sure. Uh, this, sure. Teleport 2.0. Where's that gonna take me? I've already been to the devil room. Will that take me to the I am error? Ooh, that might take me to the I am error. Could take me to an eye mirror. That could be real good. That could be real good. You know what? We're gonna take it. We're gonna take that and we're gonna kill and clear everything. I like the potential here. Well, that room's dead. I like the potential here. Did you just drop a chest for me? did no <laughs> i don't want it all right so teleport 2.0 if you're not aware of what it does basically it'll teleport you to a room that you haven't been to yet but if you've been to every room it should take you to your i am error room allowing me to do another full floor because i've already been to my devil room thanks to the uh, double card all right, let's kill this. Okay. Oh, dang it. All right, well, that is the entire run, it looks like, because it doesn't look like it's gonna take me. Nah, it's not gonna take me to my I am error, unfortunately on this floor. On other floors, it would take me to the I am air, but it doesn't look like it will on this floor. Anyway, that's the first run, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I would like to see some support for this, you know, first series here. That's a streak of one. How far will we go? Who really knows? Who really knows? And this series will be going up at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time every single day until we die, basically. So thank you so very much for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one, everybody. Later.